Hello designers, have you ever felt stuck using a new design tool that you came across or let's take the example of Figma itself, right? So let's say you're new to Figma and you want to learn how to use some tools in that or let's say Figma just changed the interface and you're figuring out how to use a particular tool or where to search it for. Then you, the next thing you would do is go to Google and start Googling on how to do this and then you would skim through different results, search through different videos or tutorials, figuring out which is the right one to use. And that's a lot of mess, right? You're going through a lot of things, it's a waste of time. Well, uh, I think this is a solution to all that and again it's by Google itself so this is Google's AI studio and I'm going to show you how you can do all these in a very simple way right so jumping onto my screen right here the first thing you got to do is go to aistudio.google.com and then you'll end up on an interface like this if you have signed in with Gmail and here you have an option to stream real time right so you just click on this and then you have your interface where you can start sharing your screen so what this is doing is it's sharing your screen in real time with Google's AI and Google's AI which is Gemini is going to help you now navigate through the problems that you're facing. So let me show you how to do this. Just click on share your screen right here. And here you want to share your Figma's uh, screen, right? So I have my Figma tab open. So this is a Chrome tab and I have a practice Figma file that I've just created. So I'm just going to share this tab with uh, the Google's Gemini AI. So just click on share. Hey, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. How can I help? So right now, as you can see on the screen, I am on Figma. I want to know how to, you know, create auto layout for these texts that you see here. Okay. I see that you're on Figma and want to create an auto layout for the text elements. Is that correct? Yes. To create an auto layout, first select the text layers you want to include. Then click the plus icon next to auto layout in the right sidebar. This will group the selected layers into an auto layout frame. Would you like to know more about the auto layout properties? Uh, well, I see a layout option on the right, but which one is auto layout here? I understand. You are asking which of the layout options on the right is the auto layout option. The auto layout options are the ones with the horizontal and vertical lines and the icon with the arrows pointing in opposite directions between them. Would you like me to explain the other options too? Um, is it this option that I see here? Yes. That is the correct option. It is the one with the symbol consisting of a vertical line, horizontal line, and arrows pointing to the left and to the right between them. Do you want to explore its properties now? So I click on it and yeah, I see that the auto layout is set. Now I want a white card around it. How do I do it? Okay, you want to add a white card around the auto layout frame. To do this, first select the auto layout frame. Then on the right sidebar, click the plus icon next to fill. This will add a fill to the frame. Then click on the color swatch and select white. Is there anything else I can help you with? All right, as you see, that was a simple task that we did uh, on things like how to create an auto layout or how to create a component and stuff. You can also make it do a difficult task, right? Uh, for example, I have a UI card that is here and I'm going to ask the AI to help me replicate this in Figma. So this is actually an image. I want to create this thing in Figma. So let's see how uh, Google assists me with this. Hey there, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. How can I help? So right now, uh, as you see on the screen, I'm on Figma. There's a new file and I have a UI card that you see here. I want to know how to create this in Figma or uh, using the tools in Figma itself. Okay, you want to know how to create a UI card in Figma using its tools. I can help you with that. Would you like to go through the steps now? Yes, uh, and also I'm a beginner in Figma, so help me navigate through the tools as well. Yeah. No problem. I can definitely help you with that. Since you're a beginner, we can start with the basic tools you'll need for creating the card. Is that okay? Yes. Great. The first tool you'll use is the frame tool, which is in the top left section of the toolbar. It's the one that looks like a hashtag symbol. Can you find it? Uh, do you mean this one right here? Yes, that's the frame tool. Now click and drag on the canvas to create a frame. All right, got it. Now that you have created a frame, the next step is to add elements to it. You can do this by selecting the shape tools like rectangle or circle, or by adding text to the frame. What would you like to start with? Okay, I'll start with the image on the top. So I use the rectangle and place a rectangle on the top. Is this right? Yes, that's right. You've placed a rectangle on the top of the frame. Now, to get the image into the rectangle you created, you'll want to use the image fill option. Would you like to try that? All right. Uh, can I just paste an image from Google or something right here? Yes, you can paste an image directly into the rectangle. However, to ensure it fits correctly and to follow a good workflow, let's try using the image fill option instead. This will allow you to import an image and maintain its aspect ratio. Would you like to explore that option? All right. Okay. With your rectangle selected, look in the right-hand panel. 
Find the fill section. Currently, it says the color is 0D9D69. Click on that square color swatch. What do you see? Okay, I see a color swatch and a couple of other options. That's correct. Now in the fill section, you'll see a little plus icon on the right of the color box. Click on it to add a new fill. Then where it says solid, click on that and choose the option for image. Uh, is this the option that you see? Yes, that is the image option. Now click on the choose image button to select an image from your computer. All right, I chose an image. Great. The image is now in the rectangle. Now you can adjust the image's exposure, contrast, saturation, and other settings using the tools below the image preview in the right-hand panel. Do you want to adjust these or move on to the next step? Let's move on to the next step. Okay, the next step is to add the title and other text elements, just like in the UI card you are trying to replicate. To do this, you'll need to use the text tool, which is represented by a T in the toolbar. Can you find it? Yeah, I got it. Great, now click anywhere in the frame to add a text box. Now you can type the title of your card, which in the example is just title. Yeah, but it looks small. Do you see it? Yes, I see that the text is small. You can change the size, font, color, and other options using the right-hand panel. Can you find the typography section in the right panel? Yeah, I think I need to increase this one, so I'm just gonna increase it. Yeah, that looks good. I think that looks good. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. I'm glad I could help you create your UI card in Figma. If you need any further assistance, feel free to ask. So as you saw, for a beginner, this is really good. It helps you navigate uh, new tools that you come across. Even here, it helped me uh, look out for tools where they are and how to apply it auto layout and small uh, tasks like that. It has done a really good job. Uh, but for advanced tasks like how to create a UI uh, from scratch, it uh, did a good job, but it didn't follow the best practices and stuff like that, right? So for in Figma, you know that instead of a rectangle, it's always prefer to use a frame. But here for the buttons and stuff like that, it asked me to use a rectangle and a small uh, issues like that but overall it has done a good job if you are a beginner or intermediate trying to figure out how to use certain things uh, this is your go-to tool on how to do it right instead of trying to uh, search for a video and try to guess which one is right and all I think AI has done a good job especially Google's AI here and I think uh, this is the beginning stage again it's going to get improved as more data comes in I think uh, certain things like the toolbar right uh, so it was referring to the previous Figma UI and it asked me to search for the Figma's frame tool on the top which is again the uh, previous UI if you remember. So certain things like that is again dependent on the data that it has. So overall it has done a good job, definitely try it out and let me know in the comments below what you feel about this tool and how this is gonna revolutionize how user guides and user tutorials are gonna evolve from here. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you with another one.